I never thought I'd be able to say this, but today I'm finally going to be playing a Black Ops 2 custom map. It's called Springfield and it's a Simpsons challenge map. I love me a good old challenge map, so I'm excited to get into it, but I heard this one is extremely difficult, so hopefully we can beat it. It's pretty awesome to see some Black Ops 2 custom maps coming out, especially since Black Ops 2 never really had custom map support. So hopefully in the future we can see more of them, but let's quit the yapping and let's get into the map. So here we are on the Springfield challenge map. This looks awesome. Dude, I love the pink textures. It actually looks really nice. Wait, the textures are made by somebody named Lil Poop. Oh, wait, what we got witches? What? How my red screen already? Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay. Well, oh my goodness. Insta kill, perfect. I'm gonna chuck a grenade. It seems like this actually could help here. Um, because all the witches come from that side. Oh my goodness. I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Wait, oh, I can go through them. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Bruh, I got, oh no. Hold on, dude, I just need. <laughs> that was the most silent death I've ever experienced in my life. That's when we actually got the 3K to buy the door. So this actually gives me hope. As long as I can get to the box and get a good weapon. That's what we need. We just need a good weapon here. By the way, the hands kind of throw me off here, but it is The Simpsons. Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep on trying this until we get this. If you guys do want to download the map, make sure to check it out. It's going to be linked down below in the description. Like always, shout out to the developer, by the way. He um, he messaged me on Discord and, and said I should play the map, try it out. So, you know, it's kind of crazy, actually. Seeing a Black Ops 2 custom map is... Like, there's barely any out there. There is not really any custom maps for Black Ops 2. Sure, there is maps where they'll kind of remake or, I guess, kind of change the map a little bit. I, I know there's one on Nuketown that looks really great. If you guys want to see me play the Nuketown custom map, definitely let me know by the like button. But, um, yeah, usually there isn't a, f like, whole different map. It's usually you play on a map that's already kind of there, and they just kind of change it a little bit. So, this is awesome to even see. I... I really hope to see more of these custom maps on Black Ops 2 because, I mean, there's a lot of them on Black Ops 1, World at War, and BO3. It's just BO2 doesn't get much custom map love. It does make sense because this game doesn't have custom map support, so it's just cool to see maps like this. Uh, let's see. I just want to get enough to get the box here. Wow, I can't believe we're actually making progress here. I really thought we weren't. <gasps> Whoa, I thought I got stuck there. Okay, so let's hit this. Please don't triple slap me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, double points. Damn, we got a lot of points from that. Give me that quicker ride, baby. Bro, these... I'm, I have the worst luck possible. Yeah, we have the worst luck. This is... What What am I playing right now? Okay, I didn't even check the price for the door. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. No! I kind of figured that was going to happen. Bro, can I please, can I please get a good weapon? By the way, there's a timer in the top right that I don't even notice. Um, come on, man. Just give me a good weapon. <laughs> so how much is the door? Th Wait, what? Dude, this is actually bad. And I, I don't know. How did I? How is it even possible to get this bad a lock? How is it possible? <laughs> is the box rigged or something? There's no way we just got the war machine. Okay, give me a quick revive. That's last quick revive, by the way. Okay, so uh, we need 35,000 points. If I can get the Mark II, that'd be great, because I think the Mark II is... Oh, I'm, I'm going to take that real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Mark II and the Reagan should be pretty good. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Okay, so we need 35k points. The good thing is that it looks like we're getting quite a lot of points from the witches. I, I never realized how many points you get from the witches. Uh-oh. You get quite a lot. It's cool that it is on Buried, because Buried, uh, you know, actually allows perma perks. so, you know, we don't essentially need perks, like, desperately. Yeah, look at that, we have 30k points already. Yeah, so we can just get, like, perma jug and perma PhD and stuff. I don't know if I have PhD, I'm gonna test it. Oh, I do! Okay, so let's reload. Let's reload. Oh, I got something else. Half the time, I don't even know what I get from perma perks. <laughs> I just see the green flash. I mean, I'll hit the box. I don't know what I really want. Can't really get much. Out of time bomb, huh? 
sure. Oh, teddy bear, we deserve that. Wait, what? Oh, whoa, whoa. Damn, that double points looks really nice. We almost have enough to open the door, by the way. Holy. It, it, the witches freak me out, bro. Or, I, I, by the way, I actually mentioned this on stream, but I don't know why I call them witches. They're ghosts. I gotta stop saying witch. I don't know why, dude. Ever since, like, <clears throat> I first started playing Buried, I would always call them witches. But then I realized, oh, snap. That always freaks me out. I feel like there's a zombie behind me. But, um, yeah, I always call them witches. So, my bad if I call them that. Oh, ho, ho. Come on, man. I need a max ammo. I will say, the choice of not having any zombies in this zombies map is really cool. Not many maps do that. Oh, I got a perma insta kill. Huh? Wait, how did I get this? Hello? <laughs> when did I get perma insta kill? Okay, so we have enough for this next door. Hold on. I guess I'm going to have to end the round. Okay, there we go. Um, let's immediately pack a punch and I'm going to buy jug. Wait, oh my god. Oh, wait, well, just buy Jug. I thought I had enough for everything. I guess not. This is good. Oh, stamina is there. I see speed coal as well. Oh, nice. That's that's good. That's good. Um. Okay. We're slowly making progress here. Bro, the next door is going to be so expensive. How much is it? 50k. You know what? That's not that bad. Like I said, you get a good amount of points from these ghosts anyway. Wait, wow, that takes a lot of shots. I thought it was going to be one shot after I popped it. Oh, wait, do I have to... Is it better to shoot the bottom? Maybe it's better to not shoot directly at them. Eh, that could be... I think I might be wrong about that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. I'm going to pack a punch the Galil real quick. Yeah, I definitely challenge you guys to beat this map. Challenge maps are always my favorite type of custom map. I, I always enjoyed them a lot. I was never really that good at them, but I would always try to beat them. There, there's a lot of insanely difficult ones out there, though. Um, the, the one that immediately comes to mind that was a challenge map that I never got to beat was Cheese Cube, back on World at War. That is a classic, classic custom map. That's one of the better ones. Oh, snap. That's, that's like the first thing that comes to mind whenever I think of custom maps. Cheese Cube every time. It's goaded for sure. Okay. Yeah, the double points is so clutch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thought I killed you, ghost. The Galil really isn't that good. But there's not really another weapon that I could get. Because I can't really get the Mark II. Oh, wait. Hold on. Never mind. I might be speaking too soon here. Ah, no, 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 no. I guess it might be better to hoard kill. I, it is just kind of nerve-wracking walking past them right there. But it, it does work. Is the box... Hold on, I gotta check. Can I run past the box? Just like this way? Oh, I can. Okay, that's that's good to know. Because I always try to go around it, but it seems like I can just go through it. Look at that. Look at Buried, by the way. I've never seen Buried outside like this. I've seen Mob of the Dead. I remember I had a mod that, that let me fly the plane or whatever <laughs> manually it was pretty awesome and i kind of flew around alcatraz and it looked really nice it, it's just so weird to look at it like this though because i don't know it kind of looks broken but once you get closer everything kind of loads in um okay so yeah i'm trying to think what what else could we get nothing much right yeah i'm just gonna keep on going i mean i'll hit the box here and there we have a good amount of points oh i could use oh the remington could be really good too if I get that, I'll, I'll definitely take it. Because at least that can one-shot them, I believe. And I don't know, do the ghosts... Do they, does their health go up with the rounds? Oh, no. I guess we will find out. I don't think so, though. Monkey! Monkey! That's something else I've never tried on the ghosts. Do they actually get distracted by the monkey bomb? Part of me thinks no, because I, I I don't know. I guess we'll see, actually. It's going to be hard to even throw a Moonkey Bomb anywhere here. <laughs> this is so cool. 
Okay, there's the... Oh! Well, big brain fart moment. I thought I ended the round. Okay, so let's open the door. So we got stamina up and speed coal. Oh, okay. We're, we're coming to the end. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'll get... But no double tap. That's criminal. That is criminal. I'm taking speed coal up. Or I'm taking stamina up. Wow, they uh they just spawn. They don't even spawn at the end. I thought they spawned on the other side. Can I get a max ammo anywhere? I'm gonna use lamentation. What? No way! No way! No 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 no! We, this this isn't over. This is not over. This is not over. No 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 way! Dude, that was my last quicker vibe too. Fudge. No, 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 this is not over. Maximo? Damn it. Okay. Go, 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 go. It's fine. We're almost at the end. How much is the door, by the way? 80k. That's doable. Give me stamina up. Come on, drink, drink, drink. Chug! Stoolinger. I'm kind of scared to use the lamentation, though. I'm going for it. I just got to keep moving. I can't stay in a spot. But yeah, like I was saying earlier with the custom maps on BO2, I think this is such a cool idea. I didn't even know you could have kind of a, a separate area outside of the actual maps like this. Very, very creative. I wonder if when you buy that door, it ends the game. Or if, if uh, I have to buy something else after. The 5-7? Wow, we have no ammo. I maybe should have thought about this. Hold on, let me test out a monkey. Do they actually go towards the monkey? <laughs> okay. What? No way. No way. I really... <laughs> Wait, I got insta-killed? Ain't no way. No shot, I got inst- How does that even happen? That must have been like five witches in one. That's probably why I got insta-killed. Damn, we got so far. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was a good run. All right, let's see if I can replicate it, though. Damn, I, can't I was so close. <laughs> I was so close. Hopefully my box luck isn't terrible this time. Because that was one thing that sucked. I got- <laughs> I would get, like, the war machine. And then I got the RPG. Like, what kind of weapons are those? Look at Homer smiling at me while I'm suffering. Oh, no way. What? See, that's crazy right there. Yo, 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 yo. I don't trust... I don't trust these ghosts anymore. Come on, man. Give me a wonder weapon. Give me the Mark II. Oh, yeah, the Paralyzer. Oh, but well, that wouldn't be that good, would it? The Paralyzer... I don't think does damage to the ghosts. I need to get myself a ray gun, any type of ray gun, and they're classic. Classic. Love it. The hammer is doing some solid damage, though. I might actually keep this. Look at this. We found the way, fellas. <laughs> we found the way. Okay, dude. Yeah, this is... <laughs> if I wouldn't have got lucky with the hammer, I would be down bad right now. Ballistic knife. It's torture. It's just torture. It's not even worth getting rid of my M1911. That's how you know it's bad. Yes, 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 yes. I will definitely take that. Usually whenever I play Barry to try to get this, and most of the time it's one shot, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the reload isn't terrible either. Except, of course, when I say that, I gotta reload at the worst time. Oh, I gotta back up. I gotta back up. Can't let them, can't let them catch up to me like that. Find. See, that is... <laughs> That's surprising. How did I get insta-downed? No. Okay, get in. Get, get cook revive. Chug it down. Chug it down. For a second, I thought they were behind me. Oh, Maximo? Insta. That's, That's good. That's good. That's good. We're gonna have enough for Jug. Oh, let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. I knew, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Give me that. Give me Jug. Now let's hope for a ray gun or something here. I might still have perma PhD if I 
do get something. Oh, they are getting stronger. It seems like the the ghost health does go up with the rounds. I mean, I, I figured that would probably be the case. I've just never high rounded on buried. I think the highest round I got to was what? Maybe like I think I got the fifty. Maybe maybe it was around there, fifty, sixty, somewhere. Which I mean, that's a that's not saying that's a low round or anything. But you know, I, I guess I would say I consider high rounds starting at a hundred. That's kind of what I consider. I'd say under hundreds still very very good don't get me wrong if you, like 50 is solid round but um i think 100 is that's where it's a whole nother level you know what i'm saying because i feel like from 1 to 50 it's pretty pretty difficult but once you get past 50 that's when it could sometimes be a lot more difficult but all that to say i haven't gone through the ghost house on a high round usually i go through and get my free perks and then once i have all the perks that's when i stop going back so i just don't know how their health scales with the rounds I'm going to try to save Pack-a-Punch for ammo, because it seems like that's where we struggled last game. So I'd rather just not even... Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I knew it. I knew it. No! No! That's already... No. I probably should have just cut through the middle. I shouldn't have done it like that. Damn, that's our last quick arrive again. Gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, we're going to make this count. Screw everything that I said about ammo. We're just, we're just doing this. Yeah, I think whenever you go here, you gotta just cut in. As scary as it is, you just gotta do that, because if not, if you try to kind of go around them almost, they're gonna slap you. And that's where it's big trouble. Nice. I'm not gonna grab the ends to kill. I'm gonna wait. Oh, wait. I can't really wait anymore. I have to grab it. Yeah, so we learned that the monkey bombs are pretty bad. I don't even know what I want right now. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah. Speaking of monkey bombs, I'll take them. They don't work at all. Oh, you know why? It's not because of the ghosts or anything. It's because we're outside of the map. That's why. So obviously, if you throw a monkey bomb outside of the map, it doesn't work. Aha. I found out. So we also haven't seen a nuke at all. We've seen... Double points, maximal instas, no nukes. Makes sense, because I don't think the nukes really work on the ghosts either. Okay. Speed. Now we're back to where we died. Thank goodness. Sassafras is... I thought it was going to be better. It's... It's taking a couple of shots. Look at this. Oh, wait. Is it? Yeah, it is, actually. I think now that we have speed colo, it's going to be better. We just got the SMR. If that's not disrespect, I don't think what is. And holy crap, I almost just got destroyed. Standing back like this is bad, but I'm still going to do it. <laughs> I'm taking the risk. You know what could be funny? I'm going to try the good old ray gun trick. I'm sure everybody knows this by now, but you know how you can't get the ray gun and the ray gun mark 2 at the same time? Because once you have one of the ray guns, it's impossible to have both of them in the same hands. A cool way to get around that, though, is by pack-a-punching one of them. And then while it's in the pack a punch machine, out of your hands, if you hit the box and you get lucky, you could potentially get the other ray gun variants. So for example, you know, I have the ray gun right now, uh, and I can't get the Mark II. What I could do is put this ray gun in the pack a punch machine, and then hit the box, and if I get lucky, I'll get the Mark II, I'll pick up the Mark II, and then I'll pick up the ray gun from the pack a punch machine. That's only happened to me once, ever in my lifetime. <laughs> it's pretty rare. But yeah, we could definitely try it. I'll wait a little bit though. Again, I want to use as much ammo as I can. Oh, the Executioner. I wonder how good that could be. The Executioner's damage is solid. Is it better than the Sassafras, though? I don't... I'd beg to differ. <laughs> I'd beg to differ. I'm more of a Sassafras enjoyer anyway. Okay, watch this. So, hitbox, put Reagan in the Pack-a-Punch. Let's see. Imagine if I do. I knew it. Thanks, game. I could have maybe gone for a second box hit. It's just that um, with this type of map, I can't really, can't really stay there for too long. Double points is so good, bro. Six hundred points for these witches. Wow. Oh wow, dude. Oh my goodness. 
Oh no, 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 no. With these challenge maps, I gotta concentrate so much because I'm terrible at the game, but <laughs> if I'm not talking that much, that is why. I gotta I gotta go full power as they say. It is kind of good holding them off like that, but ah, dude, they overwhelm too fast. We just need to go. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hold on. I think I'm an insta down. I'm, I'm stuck in the witch. I, or, or the ghost. Okay. Wow. I can't. Okay. We somehow got to the end of the round. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That, bro, things were going so well. Are you kidding me, ghosts? You actually downed me? Oh, that's not even the end of the round. Bro, we really lost Quicker Rev already. When you least expect it, you will go down. <laughs> when you least expect it. So we have we have a little bit more to get perks. I'm definitely going to get... Well, I mean, there's not really many perks we can buy, so... So we definitely have enough for everything. Okay. Let's buy the door. Let's see what happens. Is it going to be the actual ending, or do I have to do something else? Let's see. 80k. Oh! Oh, there it is! Okay, so there's a Bible ending. What? How much was that? Was that 350k? No way, right? <laughs> that was not... That was not 300k, right? Oh my god. Holy crap. You need a disgusting amount of points. Okay, well, let me hit the box real quick. See what I get here. SMR. You know what I will do? I'll probably, um, I'll see if I maybe get rid of the ray gun. Once I have, I think, like 10k points or something, I'll see if I get rid of the ray gun to trade it out for the Mark II. No, <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. This map is so difficult. Oh my god. No. I guess now then, since we keep on getting to the end, and this time I actually bought the 80k uh, point door, I'll probably just cut to whenever I get back to that last door, I guess, because it seems like we're just getting the same weapons anyway. <laughs> we're just getting the ray gun. We're not even getting lucky with the Mark II. If I do get the Mark II, though, I think that will probably be, like, hopefully the game. And I gotta make sure not to go down. That's the thing. I go down way too early. Wow. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Oh, uh, no, I think this might actually be GG's. Look at him, look at him. I can't even see. I can't even see anything. Let me, let me go, let me go, let me go. <laughs> no, I got stuck with the perk machine. I probably shouldn't have tried that. Hold on, okay, let me, let me, let me leave, let me leave. Don't insta-kill me. Damn it. Yeah, this map was just pain. I would get so far every time, but the biggest problem that I had was going down too early. That kept on getting me. I would always lose Quick Revive by the time I would get probably towards maybe like 23-ish. Around there, I would lose all my Quick Revives, and it would suck so much. And the box luck was pretty bad 90% of the time. <laughs> I would get so many bad weapons, it would suck. But thankfully, this run was going pretty well. I was able to get the hammer pretty early on, and look at that. We got the Ray Gun Mark II. Now, as you might have seen in the previous clips, I did use the Ray Gun Mark II a little bit, but I realized how it's not really that good. It is decent. Like, I'm not going to say it's terrible, but uh, I quickly learned that the Mark II would use too much ammo to kill the ghosts. So I kind of figured out that the normal ray gun, uh, in terms of like, I guess, ammo to kill ratio, it was way better. Because the Mark II, I expected it to just shred the ghosts, but nah, it was actually quite the opposite. So that's kind of unfortunate. I was definitely hyping up the Mark II a lot. And I was hoping that whenever I would get the Mark II, it would be, you know, God tier. But it was quite the opposite. But yeah, the most frustrating part was that I kept on getting to the end, and then I would die. And it would suck so much. It would be like an insta-death too. I wouldn't even be able to get back up most of the time. So it was pretty unfortunate. But that's kind of why I'm doing a voiceover now. I was going full on concentration mode. I knew I had to beat this. I wanted to beat this. I, I needed to at that point. <laughs> For my sanity.
As you can see, for the most part, I would pull out my ray gun whenever I was starting the round, and then once I got the horde, I would start using my hammer or any other weapon. I really didn't want to use my ray gun that much. I wanted to conserve the ammo as much as possible. Honestly, I didn't even have a safety weapon. It's kind of funny I had the ray gun out as sort of like my safety weapon, but it really wasn't because it would still take maybe three or four shots to kill at this point, and it just, uh wasn't really <laughs> anything I could use if I needed to get out of a situation, so I'd just try to use any other weapon that I could just for points, because I knew that was just the biggest thing. I needed to get as many points as fast as possible, because 350,000 points, that's a crazy amount of points. The good thing was that you can kind of get a good amount of points from killing the ghosts, so it's not that bad really you could definitely it's doable it's definitely doable by the time i got to around the mid 20s i had the training down i just i didn't even think about it twice i had it down i was switching out weapons pretty often i, I didn't even care what i got as long as it wasn't an explosive weapon i'd pretty much use it to get as many points as i could uh, i wasn't really trying to go through the rounds too fast which is again why i wasn't using the ray gun i think the biggest mistake i was making when playing this map earlier in the video was that i was treating the ghosts like zombies and i think that's where i messed up a lot i was letting them get too close and by the time I realized it, I would insta down. Because it seems like the ghosts fuse together. It looks like it's just one ghost. But in reality, it's like 10 ghosts in one. So by the time you even realize that you're going to get hit, it's already over. You're, you're downed. So that was the biggest problem. I was just kind of training like how I would zombies. And... You kind of can't do that with this map because you will get slapped whenever you least expect it. So once I changed my mentality on that, I was doing pretty well. I was trying my hardest not to go down at this point. I didn't want to go down early at all. I didn't want to waste a quick revive as with these challenge maps, once you lose all your quick revives, it gets, gets kind of stressful. So I just didn't want to be in that position anymore. It's so funny how this map looks so small, yet it is so difficult at the same time i wish you guys the best of luck if you guys download this map but let's go ahead and cut back to the live commentary here to see if i actually beat the map i haven't really gotten much drops this match actually and since i haven't really gotten any max emos i pretty much just been cycling weapons the entire time i'll just get whatever weapon out of the box at this point and just try to get as many points and then once i run out of ammo i'll pack a punch it and it's been working pretty well here now we actually just need a little bit more but uh, i'm gonna go ahead and try to get the last couple of kills with the ray gun here look at that dude i can't believe it i can't believe it this was rough this was rough uh and there we go three hundred and fifty thousand points all right let's just do it dude let's just do it i need to beat the game we've done it boom game over you survived 37 rounds actually a little bit over two hours Dude, this was insane. And yeah, so we had zero downs, zero vibes. This was awesome. I got to say, this map, I'll probably give it honest rating, probably like an 8 out of 10. It's pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. It's very creative. I think that it's very awesome that it doesn't have any zombies on the map. And it's mainly just the ghosts but the one thing that i will say that i kind of don't like about the map is just the price of the doors i feel like they're a little bit too expensive maybe if they were to lower them a little bit or actually well i guess the doors aren't super expensive i just think maybe the buyable ending might be a tad bit overpriced maybe if it was like 200k that would probably be a good price but i think 350k is a little bit too much i don't know though let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about the map i think this map is pretty solid though i definitely still recommend you guys try to beat this map it is extremely fun the custom textures are also really good it's hilarious how the ghost is marge <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of cursed but it looks hilarious the uh the actual main menu has custom textures as well look at we have homer marge and some donuts floating around i might actually keep these textures as my main menu from now on it looks looks pretty awesome but yeah if you guys do want to download the map like i said it's gonna be linked down below in the description it comes with these textures as well so pretty cool i'll catch you guys on the next one fellas have a good one and I'll see y'all guys later, man. Peace, 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 peace. I do want to give a big shout out to all the YouTube members, Twitch subscribers, and Discord boosters. You guys are absolutely amazing, and I appreciate all the support. I cannot thank you guys enough. So, shout out to the Scrub Lords, Red, Ash, Nut King Called, FN40, Muscle, Creek, Dutch Terminator 7, Lightmeister89, Joff underscore EasyBots, The Big J6, Knuckles Vivo, LST Hang, Uncle Nikolai, Nut King Called once more, 
Arno and Jake Snusbus. You guys are absolutely amazing. I cannot thank you guys enough. And you guys want to become a YouTube member. I just updated the emotes as well. So if you guys want to become a YouTube member, make sure to hit that join button next to that subscribe button. But also if you guys are interested in joining the Discord or even joining the Twitch side, definitely check out the description. I'll have all those links down below. Again, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys. You guys are amazing.